that we've been through the assessment for shoulder impairment, now it's time to get into the corrective exercise for shoulder impairments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with Scott Lucette coming over, and we're going to talk about first inhibiting the overactive muscles. So based off our assessment, we're going to have Scott start by inhibiting, getting into a position on the foam roll to inhibit his latissimus dorsi. So again, if we see someone as they squat down, as they go into this extension position, or if we measure them against the wall and they can't get full flexion, then we know the lats are overactive. So we're going to have Scott position himself right at the posterior part of the humerus and where that comes into the scapula. Again, that glenohumeral joint. We're going to have Scott put his weight on to and try to inhibit the latissimus dorsi, as well as some of the teres major that he's going to get into. Um, one of the things when you're doing foam roll, we could foam roll the pectoralis major, which again is one of the overactive structures, but sometimes it's uncomfortable, um, and, and so we oftentimes just don't do that. The next one I'm going to have Scott go into is, is on his thoracic spine here, and a lot of times, again, when you go into that extension position of the upper body, sometimes that shows that the upper thoracic spine can't extend, so you get compensations with the muscles. So Scott's going to put his hands behind his neck, support the neck, and what he's going to do is he's going to go, he's going to walk himself up a little bit, drop his butt to the floor, arch over top of the foam roll, and then take his elbows towards the floor. The whole time supporting his cervical spine, this is going to help to lengthen the pecs, the pectoralis major and minor, as well as create a force that helps to mobilize and get that thoracic spine into extension, which helps posture, as well as helps facilitate lengthening of the anterior structures, which will then help us later uh, increase activation of the posterior structures. Good. 